vlog is my last pregnancy update i'm gonna do what's in my hospital bag i am i'll tie my gyno uh for our last appointment um let's just go in and then i'll come back and talk to you guys let's see if there has been any progress at all since i've been doing all the things i just want to see uh, my doctor was like you don't really need to come in if you don't want to but i was like ah it's okay i'll just come in <laughs> because i want to see if there's anything happening so let's go see this is it last baby checkup ever mm, kind of sad but so exciting Yee! i wonder if i make any progress on my own we shall see okay moment of truth not much is happening she said i um my cervix is still high sorry i'm like don't have my camera i have my phone my cervix is still high and i'm maybe half a centimeter so i don't know i don't think i said it here but if you follow me on instagram you know i decided to get induced um so my induction is for friday today's wednesday so we have two days to maybe get me to be a little bit more dilated which I just think my body likes to not dilate and make comfy homes for babies that don't want to leave because I've been doing everything. I've been bouncing on the ball. I've been drinking raspberry tea. I've been having sex. I've been like, I've been doing it all, walking and dancing and it just primrose. I've been taking primrose. I've been putting primrose up there. Nothing is working. So at this point, I've given up. This baby's getting evicted whether he's comfy or not friday we're going in at 8 p.m so i'm still gonna try to do everything this couple of days but i don't think it'll work but that's the update um i'm gonna go pick up penelope and pina and we are going to actually go and run some errands so we'll see you in a minute hey what are you having oh pina is with us having tomato soup i'm having broccoli cheddar mm -mm -mm is tonight's activity we are coloring let me see Penelope you're so good at coloring it's amazing and then Tone did the prince and I am doing the princess and then we're going to bed because we have school tomorrow this is the last night before you become a big big sister how do you feel about it Tucci? good good can we do a story now <laughs> yeah we are it just looks so Look, big so, to me. So guys, eyes, and a happy face, mm -hmm. eyes, eyes, nose, and a happy face. And wait, 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 wait. Eyes, eyes, and a happy face. <laughs> you just look so big to me now. I can't believe it. All right, that's right. To hold. okay so let's start in my tote bag right here um that's just like my purse i guess um i have a binder for the baby stuff i have my makeup um just in case i need to touch up before he actually gets here with penelope i had to read like wash my face and redo my makeup because i was there for like 36 hours before she was born so that i have my wallet i have a little bag with hair ties um lip gloss uh, my inhaler so just like a little pouch that I carry in all my purses uh, with that I have oh there's also hand lotion in there and then I have our camera so we could take some pictures with an extra film uh, and then my wallet of course with all my identification cards and then I have a couple of masks the last thing I have on my on my bag in this bag here, I have a um, portable charger just in case, even though I have, oh, I have my regular charger, but also a portable charger just in case. And then I'm going to put my camera, my tripod, and uh, this little bag that has the extra charger and memory card and all that for a vlogging. So that obviously, if you're not vlogging your birth, you don't need it. So don't need to worry about that and then I have three different oils I have uh, labor oil which is Clarice H and Jasmine I've been putting this this week but it's supposed to help with uh, the process of labor I have a happy roller which is geranium with velour and uh, and 
what is it called? Ungrounding. <laughs> and then I have a stress roller to like keep me calm. I was gonna bring a diffuser, but I heard a lot of places they don't let you put one, and I just didn't even ask and didn't want to take the chances, so I didn't. But that is that for that bag for my purse, my charger, and then obviously my phone charger. Then let's move on to, I this guess, one. let's move on to my. Well, this is just my toiletry. Let's move on to my things. Here I share how I made this little Sherpa bag. And then we have toiletries in here. We have face wash. Uh, we have toothbrush. We have little makeup remover thing. Makeup remover wipes, whichever one I feel like using. We have some eye patches for after. Uh, we have deodorant body wash because I don't like the one there I have uh, this is Claroderm which is a uh, spray for down there after it's really good it's supposed to be really good it's from uh, Young Living then I have Summer Fridays jet lag mask to keep my face moisturized and I have yeah you can put everything back in and I have a little lip uh, balm because your lips get so dry so all of that is in my little toiletry bag and in my carry-on, I have... Uh, I'll help you. Yeah. Yes. You want to pass me those socks? Yeah. These socks? We have some socks. Mommy. <laughs> How to keep these scissors <laughs> away? These socks says exhale and inhale. So... Is there a trampoline these? place there? A trampoline? No. We're going to the doctor. <laughs> and then we have, okay, and then here I use my cubes, my little cubing, my cube packs. We have, so, <laughs> some pads, some regular pads. Thank you very much. And we have these for when I'm pushing, exhale, inhale. I have fuzzy socks for after because it gets cold in there. And then we have two bras. We have, they're both breastfeeding. This one is just like the regular ones, you know, that have the like strap and then, you know, these are from Amazon. They came in a pack of three. I'm also wearing a breastfeeding one just to have an extra one. Um, they came in a pack of four, I think. White, beige, black, and gray. And then, oh, and then I have another one that I would sleep with. This one is from Target. It comes in a pack of two and these are the cross ones. These I had with Penelope and they're so, so comfortable to sleep in. This brand is the, hold on baby, the Autumn, Autumn brand. I love their like little bras. So I brought those two and then we have some postpartum underwear. I'll link everything down below. This underwear came in a pack, I think of six. I got them on Amazon. They're all cotton, they're high-waisted, they have this band, but they're super, super comfortable. I also wore one the other night and it was really, really good. So I have two of those. Wait, baby, can you slow it down for a second? Yeah. And then for myself, I have, since we're talking about like, okay. you okay? <laughs> She's getting a cough, so that's no bueno, but we'll see. I have a, a Perry bottle. Okay. I have a Perry bottle from uh, Frida Mom, the one that is like this, so it's easy to use. Okay. Tone came up, and then she left. But anyways, um, so with Penelope, it didn't tear, so we'll see with this baby. So that's why I have the bottle. I'm going to take it just in case. Uh, because the one they give you there is not as nice. Then I have uh, two of the ice uh, maxi pads. These are also from Frida Mom. They're the instant ice maxi pads. Uh, I brought two of them just in case again. And then I have some adult diapers. And these I think are the silhouette, I want to say. Um, I'll link the ones that I got. But came with two pink ones and two black ones. Well, with pink and black, I'm bringing two of each. You never know how heavy or not heavy it's gonna be. But I also brought um, some pads. Like, and these pads are Colombian. They're cotton pads and I love them. If I use pads, they're usually these. So I threw those in there. So that is it for like toiletries and beauty stuff and stuff. And then for my clothes, I brought an outfit to come home from the hospital. This one is from H&M. It's like a ribbed long sweater. And then I have, let me see. And then I have the matching pants, which are also very comfortable. These are like sweater material, uh, super, super soft. I have 
two gown pajama gowns uh, that open up in the front this one is from Target you guys have seen it so soft these are the best because you know they'll check you down there you don't have to wear pants and it's good for breastfeeding so I have that one and then I have this one which is from uh, Amazon and this one is doesn't open all the way but it opens here it's friendly for breastfeeding and it has a quarter sleeve and it's very Thanksgiving-y since Thanksgiving is next week so I have those two gowns um, and then I have this gown that was sent to me by baby be mine uh, they make like matching gowns and swaddles and everything with your baby so I have the gown it's right here oh my god it's super wrinkled <laughs> but I mean who cares <laughs> um, so this one opens in the front, opens in the back, so you could actually deliver with this, but I'm just gonna use the hospital one, like I don't really care that much. But I brought it um, just in case. And then I do have a robe. And this is just the robe that matches, and it's just a plain robe. Here it is. Perfect, regular robe, super comfy, I love it. Um, and that is it for me. That is all I brought for myself. I'll wear whatever shoes I'm going in with today. And we're done with that. Let me put my toiletries in there. Okay, for the baby, I have another packing cube and I'll show you quickly what I have for him. And then I'll show you what I have in his diaper bag, but this is just clothes. So I have two different hats, a beige one and a gray one with this little mittens. How cute is this? This is from Marshalls. Uh, I found that at TJ Maxx. And then I have this is the thing, I don't know how big he will be. Penelope was miniature, like she was in preemie clothes. I know he won't be, but like a month ago when we saw him last, he was six pounds, nine ounces. So I don't know how big or small he's gonna be. I have his coming home outfit, which is like sweater material. This is so cute from Nordstrom. Um, but this is really tiny. I think this goes up to like just eight pounds. So I'm bringing that. And then I'm bringing this one, which was sent by one of my followers. She has a shop and she makes all organic home, like handmade clothing. How cute is this one? This one is the pants with the little top. So I have, this one is a little bigger than that one. So I'm bringing both. This is his coming home outfit. Um, so those are the two options. Then to be at the hospital, I have two little sleeping gowns. This one, this cotton one. Uh, like green and then I have this blue one this one is just like a regular footsie pajamas they're bamboo cotton and they're from my friend's shop uh, 10th and pine I'll link everything down below but so so cozy and then this one I don't know I think I, I don't remember where I bought it but it's one of the knotted gowns and they both have matching hats so I have the matching hats here the green one and then the blue one and then I have the matching hat for my robe and the matching swaddle for my robe so they match my robe and my gown uh, the hat and the swaddle so he'll be matching me and then I have one last swaddle I brought um, the little cookies and milk swaddle my mom and my sister give it to me with the matching hat so just two swaddles and the hat and then I brought three undershirts for him and two pairs of socks and that is that so yeah depending on the um outfit he wears to come home you either do the gray or the beige that's why i have two but just some options you know you know so there you go that's it and one more thing that i guess is for me is uh this blanket oh this is like the fluffiest delicious blanket um, so I'm putting this in my little luggage because I know I'll get super cold and it's also super cozy so it made me feel nice and cozy and then um, let's see at the rest of the stuff for the baby in the diaper bag which I don't think I shared on here I shared on Instagram but I'm obsessed with this diaper bag this was sent to me by a company called Mina Bay and I can't tell you how much I love this diaper bag. So you guys could see it's very stylish. It's a purse. It has this strap here that you could hang like this. Obviously it has pockets here. It has this like magnetic pocket, nice pocket here for a phone. Um, 
these straps it's nylon i love the color another pocket here and then obviously you have this strap or you have straps as a backpack which i love backpacks and i just love the look of this like so slick i could take off all the straps too and just wear it like this too so so pretty so that's what we're taking to the hospital definitely check them out they have so many pretty bags all right so for the baby for in here we have bunch of random stuff i thought i brought okay so i guess i didn't bring up uh the pacifiers i was in between because yesterday i sterilized everything and i was like did i bring them up or not but i have a pacifier holder when we go downstairs i'll put a pacifier or two pacifiers in there two different ones for him to try i put it on this strap then we have a little changing pad uh this came in one of my bump boxes so it's just a little changing mat i don't think i need it but i just threw it in there because it's the diaper bag i have uh muslim cotton burp cloths um or bath or like these could be bath towels i use them for both but i just took these two they're so soft and cozy so I brought those two i have um a car seat cover this one is from a shop they sent me this and i have the matching robe too and everything or this could be for breastfeeding too it's just like a little cover um i just threw it in here again i don't think i'll be using this one because it's really cold out but i brought it just in case and then we have a blanket this one susie gave to him and i'm bringing it because it has his name and it's super super soft and cozy so bringing that and then i have okay so here are the random stuff or not random i brought his little brush i don't know why but <laughs> just decided to bring it um i have some wipes i don't know on the drive back you see this came this bag i love this little ziploc bag came with a diaper bag it's like you could open it here to take out the wipes so have that i have pacifier uh disinfecting wipes just in case again i threw in here a couple of uh, breast pads for me in case of any leakage threw those in there i have the portable sound machine which you guys saw on my haul for baby products this uh i will use for him there so he starts getting used to it and in the car um and his stroll in his car seat i have some butt cream i have some vaseline um vaseline i have nipple butter for myself my nipples were really bad with penelope so i am putting this one here I had it on my nightstand and then i have vitamin d drops for baby even though i probably won't need them there i'm just putting them in there and then i have the little doggy bags i carry these with penelope these are legit poopy doggy bags but i use them in case of an end blowout um and you need to either put a dirty diaper or you have clothes it happened to me with a couple of times with penelope and i didn't want to throw the clothes away so i just put them in here until we got home and then the last thing is for me um they are the silverette uh these are silver nursing cups so I have a lot, I research a lot about this and I also have a friend that told me she swears by them. But these are for your nipples for healing. They're made of silver. These were sent to me by the company. They're a little pricey, but from what I hear and all the reviews, they are amazing. Like amazing. And like I said, my nipples were really bad with pee, so I am taking these with me. And then the last thing I have in here is Lucas welcome or introduction little sign and I got this from Etsy and here it is it says hello my name is Luca Anthony so this is for a little picture for him oh, my little baby and that's it guys that is everything I have I almost forgot two important things that I had in my bag I didn't even take out slippers um you want to take some slippers so I have these um and i mean you could walk around in socks but i rather have slippers and then i have and then i i put i put shippy downstairs and then i have a postpartum um a postpartum girdle i'll say um 
postpartum support. I haven't used it. Um, this brand I had at the Belly Banded with Penelope and I wore it before we even left the hospital. But I can't find it. I couldn't find it. So I just purchased this one. So I'm going to throw it in my bag. I'll let you know how it is. It has a lot of parts, which makes me a little scared. But definitely, definitely recommend one. Uh, the Belly Banded was great. I, I don't know why I didn't just get that one. But this one had really good reviews. But... Like a true Colombian that I am, I will be bandaging myself the moment I leave the hospital. So, let me show you the inside of this bag. Look at how spacious it is and all the pockets it has. Like, big zipper here. Let me close it so you guys can see. Big zipper here. Small zipper on this side. Pocket here. And then pockets all around the bag. So, everything stays nice and organized. I am obsessed with this bag and it fits so much like I have all of this and I could still fit more stuff in here if I wanted to so love 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 and that is it you guys that is everything that I have I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that next video is you guys meeting Luca I cannot wait to meet him I'm so 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 excited but if you guys have any questions let me know and I'll see you in my next video Bye.